Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of June the 20th through to the, um, sorry, not June the 20th, June the 27th through to July the 3rd. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Ten of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Wands upright. And next we have the Seven of Cups upright, followed then by the Ten of Pentacles upright and the Three of Wands upright. All of your cards are in the upright position. What's going on, Gemini? The Ten of Wands is here in your upright, in your upright position, in your overall energy here. What's happening? What is going on? Are you taking on too much? Is things are things getting to you? Is everything just feeling like, oh, it's just too much weight on your shoulders right now? The Ten of Wands can be where we're just, we're sort of at the max for our capacity to do things. Sometimes this card will come up when we're physically overdoing it. It can come up actually when people are, you know, over taxing their body, maybe working out a little too hard, too much. Sometimes the Ten of Wands will come up when we're in a situation where, say, we have an awful lot on our plate. I always say like things like such as packing to move. That can be so intense. That's definitely Ten of Wands energy. Sometimes the Ten of Wands can represent as having too many things to do. Now, I know that Gemini likes to pride themselves on multitasking, but sometimes, Gemini, you can take on way too many projects simultaneously, and at times like this, it can all come to a head. Remember, it's the 10, though. It's Tens are represent ending. It's coming to the end phase of this situation. Some of you could be, you know, uh, covering for other people, maybe at work or even covering for friends, family, neighbors, doing a multitude of things. It's time to, if that's a situation you're in and you're just finding yourself exhausted, it's time to delegate. You need to start taking some of these burdens off of your shoulder. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Nine of Wands in the upright position. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is the energy of someone who has fought many, many battles on the same topic, the same subject. So you could be coming into this week, Gemini, a little exhausted and frustrated because you keep coming up against this same old situation over and over and over again. Now, keep in mind, the Wounded Warrior has... Um, strength and reserve here is able to withstand whatever comes their way however um he's a little battle worn and it it could be that you're just feeling frustrated that's mostly what i pick up from this reading it's just there's a level of frustration right now it's going on you're coming into the week with this level of frustration you're like I don't, whether it be, remember these are just general reads, so situation is different for all of you, but whether this be that you're fighting or battling the same uh, situation over and over again in terms of your health, maybe it's a health, a pesky health problem that keeps returning. For others of you, it could be a financial problem. For others of you, it could be a relationship problem. It could be whatever. It's something that you have fought many, many battles. There have been many challenges here, and you're just kind of weary coming into the into the week. Now, I always say with the wounded warrior, just because. He's ready to fight another day if he should have to. He doesn't always have to. He's just on guard and he's ready to do it because it's like, here we go again. And I can see because you, you, you seem exhausted in this uh, reading with your overall energy being the Ten of Wands. Next card up is the Seven of Cups in the upright position. There are other options Gemini. There's other opportunities for you. There's other options. Like I said, if you're feeling burdened because you're taking on too much and maybe it's time to just start saying no to people, you're not taking on anything more, or you could be in a situation where you need to delegate some of these things to others. Um, maybe you need to look at your options at this point. Look at what other options you have in order to help relieve some of this pressure and some of this uh, situation some of you the seven of cups can represent if you're on dating sites you're single 
looking. Maybe there's a lot of eligible people out there that you could be entertaining. It's very confusing energy though. So you have to make sure that, you know, you're on the right path with this because you have to go through these options with a fine tooth comb. Not all of them will be viable. Not all of them will be realistic. So you really need to go through them and not in a quick way. This is something that's going to take a little bit of time to sift through. Whether these options for you are romantic or whether they're financial or whether they're about home and uh, business and career opportunities, whatever the situation is, you might need to really invest some time into figuring out which one is the best option for you. Moving on towards the weekend, we have some nice energy here. You have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. It could be that there is a nice bonus waiting for you. The Ten of Pentacles can represent sometimes inheritance, extra money coming our way that perhaps we weren't expecting, which is always nice. It can indicate that we've gotten a raise or a higher paying job, or finally, you know, if, if it was financial that was draining you, Perhaps you get a financial break towards the end of the week, which will be nice. <laughs> and um, if that's not the situation, if it has nothing to do with finances for you, you will still be very happy to receive some kind of, you know, financial windfall. Some of you, it could be related to home because this is also a card that represents home and family. It could be money uh, being allotted to you based on a home situation maybe some of you are purchasing a home maybe there's going to be like a cash back situation where you get extra money back you know for this situation whatever maybe you're selling something some of you could be getting um maybe someone in the household someone in your actual home is getting a job and is able to contribute to the family finances whatever the situation is is definitely good stability fine it's good stable financial uh news coming towards you and the last card you have is the Three of Wands. It looks like maybe some of these burdens, you're going to find a way to alleviate some of these burdens. Gemini is very, very clever. And um, when you realize you're in a, a bit of a situation, you know, you can find solutions pretty quickly. And then it looks like at the end of the week, you're at the Three of Wands energy, which is you're building towards something. Maybe some of you needed uh, a finance, uh, financial windfall or a breakthrough here in order to carry on with your plans. Perhaps some of you were, you know, this will come up, this combination sometimes will come up, like say for example, somebody's building a home and then all of a sudden they run into a snag, they need more money or renovating or something like that. They need more money, the money comes and then they're able to now uh, progress because it's very progressive energy so some of you the actual money enables you to progress along with your plans or with your ideas or uh, goals or whatever it is you had in mind something's coming a nice windfall is coming towards you that might help to save the day or save your plans so interesting reading please do leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you and let us know how so I want to thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week. And if the reading helped you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.